Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Esquivel. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy, Texas. I want to make this quick video for you to show you this awesome 2021 Forest River R-Pod 196. We did discuss it in detail today on the phone, but I want to make this video uh, because this is aesthetically new. Uh, the floor plan and most of the features are going to be the same as the early 2021 we had and the uh, 2020 as well. But I really appreciate the up upgraded, uh, you know, interior colors like the cabinetry, having the white versus the brown. It's very modern. Tons of storage in the R-Pods. They are super efficient. This was the first R-Pod model to come out with the north-south bed. Much preferred over the east-west. That way you're not constantly crawling over each other. One thing that I forgot to turn on in here is the light switch for the uh, accent lighting inside of the storage. So you have the wards here. I'm a sucker for good lighting. So you got the ward on each side, uh, nightstands with USB chargers and st standard, you know, household outlets. And that's on both sides. We have storage underneath the bed as well. You also have a little nook here, multifunction radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, NFC, HDMI in, Bluetooth in. Uh, here we have the 12 volt television hooked up. As you see, it's on a swivel, so you can watch it in bed or from the couch. Now this is a 12 volt television, so you can actually run it on battery, uh, which is really great. Uh, more and more of these are going to that. Uh, you can kind of see the angle, you know, from here. Uh, you do have a little play as to where exactly you want it to be. And then if you're laying in bed, you can just fold it back like this. And a really great uh, viewing angle, you know, from here. So I'm just using the over the air antenna right now. You can catch about 60 local channels. This RV is also ready for cable and satellite. So this one also has a dry bath. This is one of the first R pods to come out with, you know, really nice, really great bathroom. And the good thing about our R pod is that we actually have a tub surround. So most RVs, you know, in this price segment, you just have the paneling like this, but with ours, you have the shroud to protect your RV from humidity uh, as we are known to have in the South here. Now you also have a uh, skylight. I'm about just under six feet tall and still plenty of room here uh, in elbow room as well. Let me show you the rest of the bathroom. Foot operated toilet, medicine cabinet. We do have a max air fan here. So all I have to do is pull this down to unlock it, lift it up and you have four fan speeds. Um, but what you wanna do if you're going down the road is uh, add a max air guard, they're very affordable. So if you have a max air guard on here and the fan on with the window open, it'll keep about 10 to 15 degrees cooler versus not having it. That way when you're up to your destination, it won't take as long to cool down. But with these little R-Pods, uh, cooling down is not a problem. And by the way, this is a 13,500 BTU Coleman Mach AC. These are much preferred over other brands. I'm glad to see that they've transitioned over to them. Also, you have a thermostat here with a lot of smaller campers. You just have the knobs on the unit itself and it's either really basically 100% on or off. With this one, you can set whatever temperature you want. Uh, this is also where you control your furnace. That way it's not constantly running, uh, just like a house, it'll turn itself off and on. Uh, we do also have a uh, pocket door here with a magnet. It's very secure. Pocket doors are more space efficient. Coming up front, this is a uh, rear kitchen based on the 179 floor plan, but it's just larger. We actually had a customer trade in her 179 for the 196 because it's basically the same thing, but larger. Uh, of course, you also, this is a R-Pod first when this model came out, it was the eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. We use this refrigerator in some of our fifth wheels even. So this is double the size of what most of them are. Uh, it's propane electric, not just electric, which a lot of them are going to. So there's pros and cons of each, but you know, uh, propane electric is tried and true design. Here we have the entrance. Um, right here, we have all the um, controls for the RV, water heater. It is propane and electric, not just uh, propane, which a lot of campers in this price range are. So if you run out of propane at midnight and need hot water, if you have shore power, you can still get hot water. Uh, the water pump, so if you want to go off the, uh, off the grid, go to the beach, you can fill your fresh tank and circulate the water with this. This is where we monitor our tanks, gray tank for sink and shower, black tank for the toilet, fresh tank for potable water, battery level, and that, if you want to look at getting solar, uh, it's pre-wired, but all I have to do is cut this out, uh, put the controller in, hook up the panel on top, and you can run your 12-volt systems. Uh, we have the awning here, electric awning, of course, slide, lights here, angry fighting octopuses for hanging clothes here. 
This RV is pet friendly, so it does include two doggy bowls with the fire extinguisher there. Also, we have a vacuum cleaner. Uh, so this makes cleanup really nice and easy. The hose is an accessory, but this will actually work, uh, you know, just like that. You scoop it up here and it goes in uh, where that little foot sticker is. So great thing about the r -Pogs, we do have a one-piece undermount stainless steel sink, uh, black stainless, much more sanitary than plastic. Hate seeing plastic sinks in RVs, but it's very big. It might be hard to tell here uh, on the internet, but this is a large bowl for an RV that's, you know, roughly 19 feet on the box. We also have a range hood here with a light. Uh, it's LED, so it's much brighter, uh, will last much longer than incandescent bulbs. And our range hood actually works. It will then outside when you're cooking, they're not just there for looks. This is also a low profile, slim down uh, range hood as well to give you more maneuverability here in the kitchen. Also, just like the door, which we'll look at in a minute, we have a glass insert over the stove top and it's black. I really like the white and black look versus the browns. Uh, so we have a two burden cooktop. This is propane. Uh, we also have a convection microwave. Now I've had a lot of customers tell me that are you know more experienced in RVs than me that uh, RV ovens are usually a joke. So with this convection microwave, you can bake in it and it's also more energy efficient and won't heat up your camper as much versus a uh, regular oven. We also have a furnace here for heat. This works off of propane. Uh, those rare instances we need it, it is here and it'll very quickly heat up this RV. More accent lightings underneath here, tons of storage. Also storage underneath here. And this is also the first R-Pod to uh, have a real pantry as well. So these shelves are uh, adjustable. You can raise and lower them as you wish. And the couch, uh, a new change. They did change the material on here, a little bit different design. Uh, it's very nice. We also have these little inserts here with cup holders that go on the couch. Uh, this table is freestanding. This is the transport mode, so you want to strap it down while you're traveling with it, but you can just pop it up here in the middle, bring it outside. This also does turn into a bed, just like a futon, and it does, uh, you know, just lays flat for one, maybe two, just depending. Let me stop talking for a second, and I'll just let you look at it. Okay, now we'll go outside. So this is the new honeycomb look. We had a uh, one R-Pod, or actually, I'm sorry, two R-Pods come in uh, with the same look, but this is the first 196 we've had. They're still rolling this out. Of course, it does include the frog. So some of the newer changes, it has the front panoramic window, the <laughs> panoramic window to give you more natural light. Uh, but that's really great, really awesome. Definitely opens it up when you have the shades open. Uh, of course, we do have an electric tongue jack on the front. So you just press it to raise and lower it like so. We also have a light up front here to see early in the morning, late at night. We have one propane tank. Uh, but really, you know, if you want to add a second one, you can. Uh, whenever we make it ready, if we can earn your business, we'll install a deep cycle interstate marine battery here and fill the propane tank. This RV has a two inch ball. Uh, you do want to make sure that your tow vehicle has a seven way plug like this one. Uh, so that will communicate your lights, your brakes. If you have a direct line charge, it will charge your battery. And also make sure you have a brake controller. We also do have safety chains and a uh, breakaway in case of worst case scenario. Uh, we do have barbecue quick connect here for propane. If you would like to hook up uh, any external grill, you can buy a you know really affordable cable or cord rather for about twenty dollars online. Now I know you said that you didn't really care for the uh, exterior kitchen, but here it is. Looks like they've changed the design a little bit on this one. So here we have a removable sink. This is the RBQ cable here. So this is a little bit different, but uh, this is how it works. I didn't see the grill in there, but we'll see if we can find it as we go through this RV. This also has a spray port for cold water as a shower. So if you'd like, you can hook it up here. Another great thing to note about the R-Pods is that we actually have magnets, not clips. So you have less to worry about breaking as on other campers. These windows do have a bit of a tint to them. That can be about a $2,000 value. So we'll give you more privacy, energy efficiency, and stay cooler, of course. 
Great thing about the large R-Pods is that they have real awnings. What I mean by that is that you have the structure here, uh, the Thule awnings, they're cool and all, but with this one, all you have to do is open and close it. You don't have to mess with the legs, anything like that. If you would like to hook up anything outside, we do have power connections here. Black tank flush, this is very important. So whenever it comes time to get down to the nitty gritty of having an RV, whenever you dump your tank, all you have to do is make sure your black tank is open, hook up a water hose and the built-in nozzles clean it out for you, reduces smell, gives you more accurate tank readings. Not all RVs have this and not all RVs, uh, their design tank designs are not able to accept it. So with this, it's already ready to go. That'll save you a few hundred dollars. Of course, with the axles on the R-Pods, they're independent torsion axles, much better than leaf springs. If you hit a bump on this side, the other side's unaffected. You also have 15 inch tires versus 14s as well for smoother towing. We have outside speakers, they are marine grade, so you don't have to worry about them deteriorating. You have LED lights underneath, as well as a scare light to illuminate your area out here. And of course, this awesome door. I just love the look of it. Um, this is a Paragon door. And it's pretty cool versus, uh, you know, the standard doors that we're used to seeing, uh, you know, for years and years on campers. And of course, um, I do have to go over the construction of this RV. What makes the R-Pods so unique is that they have an all aluminum frame, lighter and stronger. Uh, also, it is a fiberglass exterior, of course. You have less to worry about for uh, hail and heavy rain, stuff like that. And this is also now made with Asdell. They started doing this on the 20 year anniversary. So why this is important is because with older campers, if you ever see when the fiberglass bubbles and comes off of the backer, which was uh, Luan, basically over glorified plywood, uh, this has less than a 1% chance of doing that. Uh, if it ever gets wet, it will not mold or mildew. It's also stronger and lighter and gives you better sound insulation. So this alone is worth it to get a brand new R-Pod versus any of the uh, pre-owned you might see out there. As I said, this RV is pet friendly. You do have a leash latch underneath here. This RV does have uh, four stabilizer jacks on each corner. There are pros and cons to uh, electric versus manual, but if you have a uh, impact on three quarter inch bit, you can zap them pretty quick. We also have a bumper here if you wanna put your pseudo hose in there. This is access for the uh, refrigerator if you need maintenance. Uh, propane electric water heater. This also has LED tail lights, much brighter and safer. They will practically last a lifetime, which is really great. Now, one thing that I just saw here is that this RV is ready for a backup camera. Uh, before, our pod didn't really have a uh, solid solution for a backup camera due to the contour of the roof. Uh, but now you have this, so if you want to add a backup camera, they can save lives. A really great investment. Ours does include a spare. Believe it or not, a spare tire is an option, but we do have it here. Has a ladder if you want to inspect the roof as you should, check your seals out and everything like that. Speaking of the roof, this is a one piece uh, PVC roof. So it's virtually maintenance free. You just have to watch your seals and gaskets, stuff like that. Here we have the main power, 30 amp here, which most places have. So you shouldn't have to worry about adapters too much. As I said, it's ready for cable and satellite, as you see there on the left. Here we have the slide. It's a Schwintech uh, slide system, very great system. Here we have a dump for the gray tank. Black tank is up there. So you will need two separate hoses or you can link them together with a Y whenever it comes time to uh, dump your tanks. Here we have the fresh water. Uh, if you wanna go off the grid, take water with you. Below is city water for pressurized water. If you're at a park or at your home, uh, any place that has pressurized water there. So this RV is uh, just under 4,800 pounds loaded. Here we have the other side of the storage. And this RV is just under, or just over 30, or just under 3,800 pounds empty. We also have a battery disconnect, which is great. If you store your RV, uh, we'll keep your battery from depleting. We also have a seven way holder here so you can keep your seven way out of the uh, dirt and out of the mud. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Esquivel, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. I want to make this video to show you this awesome 2021 Force Rover R-Pod 196. I would love to earn your business. They're going to go very quickly. Let me know what I can do. Uh, you know, have my phone number, call me, text me, email me, and we will get the ball rolling on this RV. Thanks again.